Hello everyone, so Loving Vincent, uh, I never got to watch it when it came out because where I lived it wasn't being shown, like the closest movie theater that was showing it was like three and a half hours away and I didn't have the time to go watch it so a friend asked what just download it, I'm like I'm not going to download it because first of all I never download things illegally because first of all it's illegal, second of all because I'm afraid to get viruses on my computer but if you're a fan of the artist or what's being done then you want to support it and, and contribute to, to it and you know buy it because as an artist I want people to buy my art so I'm gonna buy this art so I just bought it off on iTunes and I'm gonna watch it I'm super excited I waited this long I thought it was gonna be on Netflix but it wasn't watch now it says <laughs> I'm super excited now where do I go to watch it oh library perhaps oh what a coincidence I just got back from the gym hence the sweaty hair and look I'm wearing the starry night leggings with short over them of course you know, some guys wear it with that short and it's like, oh, I didn't want to see all that. So I'm going to start watching it. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm a huge fan. I, I can't find my headphones, so I can't watch it because obviously copyrighted material, but I was going to put my headphones on so you could see my reaction. So you're not going to get to see that. Who wants to watch me react? So once I watch parts of it, I'll come back on and tell you what I think, which I already know what I'm going to completely love it. But anyway. Time to watch. The first opening scene, we're well not the opening scene, but the opening thing, it's like Starry Night too, so it's pretty cool. And I'm wearing it. And then the first thing that it says, it says, the film you're about to see has been entirely hand painted by a team of over a hundred artists. I think that's so incredible. Uh, why did I get picked to be a part of one of those hundred artists? I wonder what the auditioning process, if there was an auditioning process, was to be a part of this project. I hear it like it took like seven years. All right, bye. All right, the movie starts a year after the death of Van Gogh. First thought, I am 17 minutes in. It's a masterpiece. It's so, so good. I don't think I can do this like, I'm going to have to watch it attentively and then watch it again and then I'll be able to comment on it because it's I, 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 I have to focus on it. Oh, I'm eating uh, Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. I buy them at HEB. They're already prepared and things like that. But anyway, yeah, this is going to have to be after I watch it two or three times. Has in his heart. <laughs> in the eight years between starting to paint and his death, Vincent painted over 800 paintings, only one of which was sold in his lifetime. Ah, oh, that was super beautiful. <laughs> so I watched the movie again. I'm not going to tell you much about it because I think you should watch it. I'm just going to say that it is very very good and I think it's a must-see just because it's you know the way they created it is very original you know everything's hand painted also there's interesting fact Van Gogh had another brother older than him who died his name was also Vincent same thing like a Salvador Dali he had an old brother who died I think that's weird like I would like if I had a child who died and I named him August because I feel like that's what I would name him and then he died, I would have named my next son in August. You know, that, that, I think that's weird that they would do that. But anyway, I, I didn't know that. Uh, I knew Vincent and Theo, his brother, had a very close relationship. And it's just, it's very cool that they were that close. And I, I mean, I'm close with my brothers and my sister, but that just kind of like makes me want to be closer to them, you know? I thought that's cool. I think you should be close to your siblings. They're like an extension of you, in a way, so. Uh, so the whole movie is just about whether or not he committed suicide or whether he was killed which is a mystery till this day and i honestly don't know how i feel about it like i don't, like i'm in the middle maybe he did commit suicide maybe he was killed i changed my mind about it some days i think he did kill himself some days i think he didn't but i've always wondered you know how long will i live in people's thoughts you know after I'm gone you know I think this movie made me think about my own mortality and things like that and if Vincent ever thought about how long he lived or he would live in other people's thoughts or minds then I wonder if he would have imagined that he would have left such a big legacy and it's so crazy I hope somebody tells him hey Vincent wherever he is or if he's even 
know, nobody knows what happens after death, but I, I kind of, whatever is out there, I kind of hope that there is some access to the world now, so he could get a glimpse of what he did and how revered he is in the art world and how everything that he did finally paid off. Like, because I think it's sad that he didn't get to see the fruits of what he created. So hopefully wherever he is, he's quite aware of what he's done, which was brilliance to say the least. Artistic brilliance. But anyway, you have to watch the movie. It's very, very well made. You know, I don't watch movies more than once because I feel I've already watched it. But I feel that this is a movie that I'm gonna rewatch over and over. Kind of like the Frida Kahlo movie with Salma Hayek. I've seen that movie so many times and I can just sit there and watch it again. And I feel that's gonna be this. I feel this movie is gonna be like that. I'm gonna watch it several times. Well, anyway, please like, subscribe, share. If you've seen the movie, tell me what you think about it. Go over to my channel and check out uh, the rest of the content there. Well, anyway, that's it for today. Adios y bye.